back, 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 back in Daddy's kitchen. Hello, Father. How are Hi. you today? I'm wonderful. Great. Good. I'm glad that you're wonderful. We have a special meal on our hands today for our Daddy's Kitchen family, Daddy. This is a little different. I've never, I don't think I've ever had anything like this before. And I didn't even think that I would even like it. So I'm I'm interested to know how I feel after this. You're gonna love it. I'm gonna love it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right, let's see. So Daddy, tell the people then where we are cooked today. Cabbage roll. Cabbage roll. Cabbage rolls, cabbage rolls, cabbage rolls. Okay, all right. So, Daddy, I'm not even going to waste anybody's time. Let's get straight into how we make it. Oh, this is a cabbage. Okay. So, and you've like... Is... How did you do this? Well, you're about to show us, right? Yes, this is the old cabbage. So, you got to take the first layer off. Okay. And you get this. Okay, all right, let's and see. You don't want to break it when you're taking it out. Okay, you can't break so, it. Yeah. Okay. So I take some off already, and I'm going to blanch them. This is these in boiling water okay. to get them soft. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how I do it. Okay. First, you look for the first layer all the time with the cabbage. Okay. Right there. Mm -hmm. Use a knife, you do like that. Uh, you can use your finger, loosen it, then you come and get the hand right here, that's okay. where it fold over, right there, mm -hmm. go right down, right like that, that. So you like delicately loosen it Yes, around. yes, because you don't want to break it. Okay. You don't want to hit any all in it. So it has to remain a whole piece? Yes. Okay. And then you blanch it. For those of us that don't know what blanching is, we're gonna, Daddy's gonna show us. So don't you worry. You're gonna get the whole deal. That's what we do at Daddy's Kitchen, okay? If you're new here, look. See that? Look, you just did your first cabbage yeah. roll shell. Look at okay, you. Okay, I'm gonna show you one more time. One more time. Yeah. One more now time. Now you look for the next layer. It's right there. Let's see. Right there. Okay, right Got there. Got a fold. Each one you take off, they fold. Okay. So this is the hand part that you at the, the heart. Okay. And then you just loosen take your time it. and go around. So you loosen yes. it a little bit at yeah. the root there. Yes, yeah. then you come. Okay, that's kind of smart, but be careful with your knife because you don't want to cut through yeah. it. And like that. Skim through. Right through, right around. Mm -hmm. Then you come back here, try to loosen it. Loosen it a little more. Mm -hmm. If I want to give you trouble. All right, and look at that. It's as big as your head, Daddy. <laughs> it's a crown. <laughs> All right. Okay, so. Okay, this, so that's how it looks, guys. Yeah. Okay. I don't need this anymore, so I'm going to put this in a bag. I wrap it in a plastic. Mm -hmm. And put it back in your fridge. And put it back in the fridge. And it's good to use for next Again, time? Yeah, for something else. Oh, okay. Right. Okay, uh, my pot of water boiling over here. So this water has been boiling, so yeah. obviously on high. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to blanch it. So blanching is this. Yes. Blanching is you putting yeah. it in boiling, boiling water. water. So what's the difference between blanching and boiling? Blanching is just even like... Just for a little bit? Just a little bit. It gets soft. Okay. While in it, you're, you're, you're cooking it. Okay. So you take off um, the amount you need, just the amount you need. Okay. 
And so approximately how long will this have to stay inside the hot water? A couple minutes. Couple, like actually, like two yeah. minutes or yeah. two, like three, five minutes? Two, three minutes. Okay. You just want it soft, and you don't want it more than that. Just a little soft. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's if you can get to fold it. Okay. When you're gonna oh, so this is what it. makes it easier to fold when you're making yeah. your roll. Yes. I follow. Okay. All right. So be back in two to three minutes. See, these are getting soft already. It's only been about a minute, I'd say, right? Yeah. yeah. A minute and a half. Okay. So you push See? them down. Yeah. No. Okay. So now this is turkey meat. Turkey meat. I did want beef. Ground beef. Mm -hmm. Well, I kind of have ground beef in the freezer, but I didn't find any. I find turkey. Okay. So I'm going to use turkey. And you can use chicken. You can use beef. Whatever you want. Whatever, whatever your heart you desires, but yes. ground. Yes. Ground chicken, ground turkey, ground. This is all my seasoning. Okay. I'm using basil. Mm hmm. Oregano. Salt. Smoked paprika. Seasoned salt. Seasoned salt. Black pepper. pepper. Cool Runnings mm -hmm. meat um, seasoning, meat seasoning, garlic powder, garlic powder, ginger powder, ginger powder, and Maggie, and Maggie, chicken, sister Maggie in our skirts. Okay. <laughs> and these are the tomato sauce. And these are the tomato sauces so that we're going to use. Today. Okay, yes. so classical. And so would you not argue, Daddy, that I'm sure, I'm sure people will argue that um, the tomato sauce should be made from scratch or like yes you, you could know. make it from scratch mm -hmm. if you want but if you're just getting it through busy? yes you just you, you go get the the tomato you sauce you can make the sauce in your life yeah i'm sure everybody yeah. has their favorite so yeah. we're using classical today i think that's seasoned enough for you season you it. put your own seasoning in. Okay. okay yes all right so you're gonna need some rice okay this is leftover rice. You can use leftover rice yes. in your fridge. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm using. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or you can use fresh rice if fresh you want. Fresh rice. You cook your rice, mm -hmm. but not too much. You mm -hmm. can, this rice is going to mix with the ground meat. Okay, okay, okay. So you don't need a lot. Okay, all right. I yeah. follow. I follow. So now I'm going to take cut off my stove and take out my cabbage. Okay. So you turn off the stove and now you're relieving them, taking them out. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Onto a pan. Careful, don't burn up yourself. Don't burn up yourself. Like me. Don't do it like this. Figure out a safer way to do this because you know, this is J Daddy's Jamaican side speaking. Yeah, ma. You just like to put yeah. your hand in whatever. Yeah, if you tough enough. Yeah. Yeah, but Don't follow. We got you lots of uh, 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 road. <laughs> Rough road. So this is the least, is what you're saying? Yes. Okay. Might need another pan. It's okay. Okay. Okay, I'm turning on my, my pot for so my ground beef. Your dutchie. Yeah. Okay. And I'm using olive oil. And you don't have ground beef, Daddy. You have ground turkey. Yeah, it's okay. Yes, yeah, so say ground turkey. Ground turkey. Okay. I used to my beef so much. Yeah, but we're not doing these today because yeah. we're... And turkey is a healthier option anyways. Yeah, ma. So I'm going to season my turkey. Okay. Starting off with the basil. A teaspoon. Okay. This one. Just the oregano going in. A teaspoon also. Paprika. A teaspoon also. Teaspoon also. Seasoned salt. Same. Mm-hmm. Black pepper. A half teaspoon. Okay. Meat seasoning. 
teaspoon. Okay. Garlic powder. Teaspoon. Mm -hmm. Giving me trouble. <laughs> That's got a powder? Got a powder. Mmm, garlic. You know, I love me some garlic. Some ginger. Ginger powder. Half teaspoon. Mm hmm. The ginger is very strong. Okay. This is Maggie. Sister Maggie in her skirts. Now we're going to put it in. <laughs> <laughs> teaspoon. Okay, so now you're going to mix it up. With your washed hands, right? Yeah. Make sure you guys wash your hands before you mix up people's ground meat. There's nothing worse than mixing people's ground meat with dirty nails. Turn it down to medium. Okay, so heat on medium. You don't want it to be too high, right? Okay. Okay. Wash your on them. And let's get ready to put this bad boy in the pot. Okay, over here I have chopped onions. I have chopped green onions and my garlic, peppers, hot peppers, scotch bonnet peppers, red, yellow, and green, sweet pepper, and a little tomato. And thyme, all this thyme. And thyme right here. Mm -hmm. So now, I'm going to drop my onions and my thyme. Into the pot they go. Oh my garlic, and my green onions, and my pepper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. up to high. Okay, we're gonna put the meat in right now, right? Okay. house you may have a glove that you can use. <laughs> please be careful. Yeah you almost burn up yourself because you're not using the right thing. You could use a glove but you're being Jamaican right now. <laughs> I'm making do with whatever is in sight. Simmer. 
Let it simmer. Can I get a cover for it? No, I'm not gonna cover it. Okay, you just leave it for now. Okay. Do you guys prefer? Are you guys like a wooden spoon type or are you the metal spoon type? Let us know in the comments. I'm asking for good reason. Wait, wait. All right, what do we have going on here? Breaking it down. Breaking it down. You can definitely tell it's not ground beef. It's different. It's the way it's it breaks down. It's I know. Turkey meat is white. Yeah. Because I was like, hmm, this smells like ground beef. Then I remembered it's definitely turkey. If you want it brewed, you can get it brewed. Okay, so just make it sit a little longer. Yeah, you can tell me because it's browning in Stir it up. Okay, so if you want it brown, guys, you heard. Put the browning. Brown a browning. What I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna cover it now and let it sweat. Okay. Get some liquid in it. Okay. Turn it down to medium. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I put a liquor of brown in. Mm -hmm. Now we're in talking. Now I'm gonna add a liquor to make the sauce in it. Not too much. Half the bottle, or more than half the bottle. Three quarters of the bottle. Yeah. How much ground I and mean, ground turkey did we use approximately? This is about two pounds. Okay. All right. Stirring it in. Stir it up. Back could go in it. You want the rest of the bottle? Yeah. All right, so one bottle of it. Here you go. Who are the buckle? Who are it? All right. I'm going to make this simmer for about two minutes and then I had my rice to it. Okay. I'm very interested to see how this rice situation happens. <laughs> yeah, let's <gonna> see. <laughs> All right. So, walk one, walk one, walk one. So, walk one in the pot. Jeez. Look how good. Okay, I'm going to add my rice to it. Okay. So, add in some. The rice. All of it. All of it. You said in the beginning just a little bit of rice. Did I say a little bit? Yeah, you did say a little bit. This is a little bit. Okay. All right. Look, you're gonna see it last in the pot. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. I wonder what culture uh, cabbage rolls originates from. You know, one one country comes to my mind. 
what? Mexico. Mexico? Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure. I, I, I don't, for something, I'm getting, when I'm thinking cabbage, I'm thinking Polish, maybe, for cabbage rolls? We're going to have to figure that out and put that into the comments because we should definitely know the nationality. And if you guys know, please put it down in the comments. We are learning together. Let's be family, okay? Because, yeah, like, shout out to whatever nation this is from because it's pretty cool. Not German. We'll see. I'm about to do a little Google search after this. See? Okay, yeah, you're right. The rice really did kind of disappear into the meat. Not disappear, but didn't overtake the meat. Oven ready. Okay, no. Yeah, I turn off my stove. Okay. And this. This is hot right now. So you have to let it cool off a little bit? Mm, not really, but I work with it. Okay. There you go. Okay, now I'm gonna put some tomato sauce in the pot, in the pan, my baking sheet here, pan here. Okay, just so you guys get the depth, you know. I think it's about like a five inch, five inch depth type vibe. Spread it out. Spread it out. And which one did we use, uh, Daddy? Is that the sweet basil one that you have at the bottom? Yeah. Sweet basil marinara. And the one we put inside the pot is the same. No, I think it's the Italian sausage. Yeah, oh. Italian sausage, peppers, and onions. Oh, hold on, mercy. They look alike. Uh huh. Okay. Next okay, let's season it. I'm going to season it. And Not I guess much. you don't necessarily have to do this, but you already know. You got to put the seasonings in the pot. Not true that. I want flavor, man. Flavor. Need seasoning? Mm-hmm. A little black pepper. Yeah. Did I put black pepper already? Garlic powder. Okay. Now is the big part. Okay, here's my first one. Okay, first one to start. Yes. Mmm. -hmm. Fold it, both hands, right over. Okay. Pull it in, face down. Look at that, you guys. Ain't that fancy? That's really cool. Another one I show you? Okay. Well, that one that he is all rip up, rip up. That's okay. Isn't that going to make it harder for you? No, no. Okay, let's see if we prove that. Fold both hands mm -hmm. and then right over. Roll. Roll, roll, roll. Okay, we put them right together. Side by side. Side by side. To hold each other, I guess. Yes. Kind of like us as a family, you guys. See? 
See how it's done, even in food. One more time. Mm-hmm. Still, you're going for all the ones that are, you have so many over here that are full. Because I'm gonna use up all of them. Okay. So none get neglected, eh? No, none. Okay, you guys, look at that. Show you one more time. One more time? Yes. And then we'll do the rest and get your guys' food in the oven. Take out the time. Yeah, don't put Chill. the time inside, guys. You don't want anybody to choke. Fold. You have to be delicate with the cabbage, right? Because you don't want the cabbage to break when you're folding it. Okay. Right there. Right there. So All that, right. That's amazing. Continue. And you continue until your pot is... Full. Okay. Okay. Now, you're gonna put the rest of the sauce on top. Right across. This looks so pretty. Wow. Wow, okay. wow, 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 wow. So we're gonna put a little more of my season on okay. top of this tomato sauce. Okay, here. we can't ever be too seasoned. Look at garlic powder too. Mm -hmm. mm, guys, if you taste the filling, <laughs> The filling tastes so good. So I can only imagine now. At first I was kind of, it's like, I don't know if I would like cabbage rolls, but to now to see how, yeah, it's definitely gonna be a winner. So it's like all smothered in this tomato sauce, right? Okay, okay, I see. Spread it out, spread it up. You kind of want them all covered. Okay. Interesting. So now I'm going to cover this with foil paper and put it in my oven. Okay. For half an hour to 45 minutes. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, it's time to open up the oven and put in a meal inside. All right, Daddy. All right, so approximately half what? an hour to 45 minutes. Half an hour to 45 minutes. Yes. Three quarter. No. No, that's three no. quarter hour. <laughs> no, not three quarter hour. <laughs> but if it's 45 minutes, yes, yeah, three quarter hour. But. Yeah. Could be half an hour, right? Yeah. All right. Because remember, everything inside already cooked. Okay. That's the cabbage. So it just and needs cabbage to... to cook down into that sauce. Okay. All right. Let's wait for it. Yeah. All right. Moment of truth. Let's pull their meals on out. Careful. Careful. You got it. I'm very excited to see how this turns out. What will it look like on the inside? Are you ready? Ready. You look confident in this. Yeah, I'm ready. Wow, you guys, look at it. Look at how gorgeous it is. Holy moly. 
Wow. Teddy, you put your foot in it. Look at that. Italiano. Okay, I don't know if it's Italiano. Because remember, we still haven't figured out. Like, this is very irresponsible of us. Italiano. No, no. All right, guys. So is, is it time to yes. share out their meal? Yes. Okay, all right, guys. And if you want, you can put some cheese on top. Yes. And melt it. We were talking about that, but we're gonna try that one next time. I think we're just gonna do this without the cheese this time. But uh, yeah, time to share out your guys' plate. Peace and love always.